All right, friends, welcome back to art class. Today we are going to be finishing our awesome toucan drawings. We're also going to work on our emphasis today, and I'm going to show you exactly where we're going to do that. To get started, you will need several things, your artwork, a messy mat, and a Sharpie. And as you can see, I am already tracing over all of my pencil lines with my Sharpie traced over my toucan, traced over the lines and the eyes and the beak, traced over the branches and the leaves, and all the other details that I added just with my pencil. We are gonna be painting these, that's why we're using Sharpies. So make sure you're tracing everything that you want to stand out. When you're done with your Sharpie, we're gonna move on to adding crayon. The first thing that you're gonna color in with your crayon is your branch. We're gonna use a brown. Crayons are made out of wax. So when we paint over these, the wax and the crayon and the paint are gonna resist each other and you'll be able to paint right on top. Next, I'm moving on to my toucan. I'm using a black crayon and coloring in the body of my toucan. Remember to work on your craftsmanship, so cover up all those little white areas and make sure to color inside of the lines. Next, we're gonna work on our new word, emphasis. And we want to emphasize the beak of our toucan. We want it to stand out. So I want you to think about colors that you can use with your crayons to really emphasize the beak and make it stand out against the green background. So I'm using colors that are opposite of green, that really stand out against the green, like purple and violet and yellow. Next, I'm finishing my toucan's eyes and finishing its claws. And I'm going to work on the background. So today we're going to be using tempera cakes. They have been sleeping, so you will need to wake them up using a little bit of water by gently swirling your brush around in a circle to wake them up. Remember to treat your brush like a ballerina and ballerinas dance on their tippy toes. So you should be working on your artwork on just the very tips of it. I'm also doing the wet on wet technique in the background. So I'm making my paper just wet with just water and then I am painting the background a little bit of green as well. But you can decide on what kind of cool colors you want to paint your background um, for yours. When you're completely done and you've covered up all the white areas that you want with paint, then your messy mat and your artwork is gonna go on the drying rack. 